Aman Mawaira, the acting minister of foreign affairs, issued a warning to the opposition party not to criticize the results of the elections held on August 23rd and 24th, and the Citizens Coalition for Change CCC has vehemently reacted. According to Mawaira, the administration will not put up with any measures that can cause unrest while seeming to be democratic political processes. The CCC, led by Nelson Chamisa, has responded by refusing to recognize the outcomes of the elections in August on the grounds that they were rigged in favor of President Emerson Nyungagwa. Gladys Latchwale. The CCC's Secretary for Foreign Affairs highlighted that the group is dedicated to upholding constitutionality and the rule of law and that it would be happy to congratulate the winners if the vote was found to be free, fair, and legitimate. The last elections, according to Latchwale, failed to uphold domestic, regional, and international criteria for democratic elections and were marred by serious faults. She cited the evaluations of other African election observer missions, which came to the conclusion that the election failed to meet both national and regional criteria. Importantly, a number of observer missions voiced doubts about the poll's validity by pointing out significant inconsistencies. In the meantime, Chamisa has been requesting assistance from the SADC in organizing a new election. Fresh elections were not, however, recommended in the final report of the SADC election observation team, which was published last week. The ongoing conflict between the CCC and the government highlights the significant disagreements and varying points of view around the election results in August. With the CCC remaining steadfast in its rejection of the verdict, the political climate is still hostile, making it difficult to forge an agreement or reach consensus.